jurisdiction. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I call uh, Reno Terakartney. Tēnākui, Mr. Chair. It's a uh, pleasure to uh, speak at this uh, committee stage on the State Sector and Public Finance Reform Bill uh, Part 2. And I'd like to uh, start with a, a verse from a rap from Vincent, Vincent Price. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Uh, you might know the rest, Mr. Bennett. But uh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe he wasn't into, maybe he wasn't into Michael Jackson. Maybe you might know another one. But the midnight hour is close at hand. But uh, I shall um, uh, make my contribution on this part too, sir, because this is a, um, a very important piece of legislation. Uh, the, the, the Public Finance Act is uh, you know, a, a key piece of legislation which governs the uh, use of public financial resources. Uh, you know, it provides the framework by which uh, Parliament gives its authorisation and scrutiny, scrutiny of government expenditure. It establishes the lines of responsibility of effective and efficient management of the use of public financial resources. And it does many other things. It's a very core piece of legislation um, governing the use of public resources. Now, sir, um, I want to uh, pick up from my colleague, the Honourable Mary Ann Street, uh, regarding uh, her comments around multi-category appropriations. And, and sir, we, that um, is commendable because anyone who has spent a bit of time or worked within uh, government uh, departments or agencies knows that they're very, um, very much patch protectors. They very much sort of keep to themselves. They very much like to uh, spend their money or, or you know, try and get the money spent by the, by the, by the end of the financial year. And, um, and there, hasn't, there, there isn't necessarily that sort of uh, close relationships with uh, other, other departments, uh, particularly when there's a common outcome that they, they should be working towards. Oh, so definitely. that is commendable that there is now the uh, provisions uh, provided for in this bill that there be uh, multi-category appropriations, so that's... Uh, across multiple categories uh, to allow that different types of expenditure so they can be uh, uh, grouped into a single appropriation. That, that's a very, uh, uh, a very laudable aim, sir. Um, and it also makes it clear that other departments as well, as the one administering an appropriation, can incur expense, expenses against the appropriation. And we see that a lot in the, uh, the Māori Affairs uh, appropriation, sir. There are a multitude of different uh, agencies and government uh, entities and also, uh, that are all involved in uh, Māori Affairs, sir. And uh, as my colleague uh, touched on with the whānau water situation, but we could rattle off a whole host of other uh, organisations that either are involved with them, uh, Te Puni Kōkiri Māori Affairs, or um, they could be... Um, uh, contracts between various agencies, crown entities, to provide uh, outcomes. Uh, so there's a whole multitude of different relationships that they have, and it's important that um, you know that they get a better structure and more uh, financial discipline around the way that they conduct their affairs, and that they uh, also report on uh, their outcomes. So uh, th those are very commendable aims in this part too, sir. Um, uh, also allowing the annual reports of uh, governments to be presented together. I mean, so that's I interrupt be... the Honourable Member. The time has come for me to leave the Chair. This debate ought up. This debate is interrupted and the House is suspended until 9am tomorrow. <laughs>